All right, disclaimer. We are not, I am not, Searching for Signal LLC is not responsible for any damage you may do trying to follow these instructions. We are not liable for anything. If you burn down your house, somebody else's house, dog house, shed, we're not liable. Just let you know. Just do this at your own risk. For this project, not limited to, but what I use for this, first off is some cutters. You're gonna need an electrical tester. Some sort of electrical way to test light. A knife, cut Romex. You're gonna need some strippers, wire strippers. I use these clines, they cut and strip, but any any type of wire stripper. Um, with this project, I'm going to need a, a wide head tool, either lines and pliers. This is the Klein's new tool. This is what I'm gonna to use today, but something that's wide so I can twist wires. A screwdriver, multi-tool, 11 and one, very handy, and electrical tape. And also, for this one, you're going to need some Romax. Alright, let's get to it. First thing you're going to do is you want to shut the power off to whatever outlets you're going to be uh, replacing. So, we're going to go under kitchen counter, dining room. Let's check that one. And let's go up there and make sure. A little electrical tester and plug it in. Oh, look at that. So, if I would have just assumed, then this outlet's still hot. So, I give myself a little 110 jolt. It's not going to die but it doesn't feel good. All right, let's go with refrigerator kitchen counter. Try that one now. What we're do is we're gonna take off this one little uh, nut right here and it's gonna take the face plate off. All right, with the face plate off, we're gonna take the two uh, little uh, nuts, bolts, whatever you wanna call them, and, this, and these are gonna come off and this is gonna pull out. Out, you can see um, most outlets are gonna be daisy chain. This one's actually got um, three hots, three neutrals, and then obviously your grounds for everything. So what we're gonna have to do with the uh, USB, since there's only parts for two, we'll basically have to wire nut these together and then just do a, just have one come straight off and then feed this outlet. So let's get to it quick. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna cut these off. I don't feel like unscrewing them anyway. Um, and then obviously white goes with white. And then hot, and the black is hot, goes with uh, the hot, and you're gonna basically twist them together with an additional uh, hot and neutral and ground. A hot and neutral are gonna feed uh, your new outlet right here, hot and neutral, hot and neutral, and then your ground right there. And the rest of them are gonna be wire nutted together so current can bypass it and keep going on to the next outlet. Cut these. Go. All right, so I've got them all stripped back about an inch, inch and a quarter. You can see them all right here. Now I'm going to take my Romex, cut it, get my lines out of this one, and do the same thing and cut these back. All right, so you can see I, I twisted up my <clears throat> hots right now. You got the three that are coming in from the wall for your daisy chaining, and then the one's going to go to my outlet. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do that to the neutrals and, and do that the same thing to the ground and attach it to uh, the outlet. So I cut these, it doesn't matter about, you see there's one little, let's see if I can get up there, right here, right there. So it, that's going for the wire nuts are not gonna cover all that. So on that end, you just use your uh, tape, tape it up. I tape everything up as anyway, just, just for a precaution. You don't want any neutral or ground touching that. So you'll tape that part up there. If, if you're wire, any part of the wire nut not covering any kind of bare wires, a no-no. On taping, you wanna go around the nut and then anything you're gonna have it protruding to go, this one is going to my, my outlet, but I don't want anything to kind of, if I'm jamming everything in there as far as wires, I don't want anything going in to the where the nut's covering the wire. So I, I cover that completely. Um, just, you know, you can't be too safe. All right, I'll show you how to how I basically twist the ground wires together, pretty simple. Having a flat linesman plier, see how like a wide nose really helps with this. Just grab it and you twist. So the wide really helps twisting, grabbing onto wires. It's still gonna be a little tricky, but this helps. If the needle nose, this is really hard with needle nose because you, you can't grab onto nearly as many wires. There we go. 
my wires are uh, all connected. I got these lines coming out yet to be cut. So I'm gonna push everything in, get everything situated in the box, and then I'll cut these to length to put on to my new outlet here. Right, as you can see, everything's pushed back, and then I'm gonna cut these just so I have enough slack to bring it out and unscrew them if I need to, and that's it. All right, so the final ones you're gonna see cut off about a half inch, maybe a little less, just to fit inside right there. Yeah, there's room for two. I'm gonna see if it focuses, but you only need one for this actual, this the way this is when it's turning out anyway. So you just want it to fit in there and that is it. All right, it's in, you can see. Now these are actually labeled on the back, white and black, but you always can tell um, like the copper is gonna be your hot and then the silver slash chrome, whatever you wanna call it, it's gonna be your neutral and green's always ground. Uh, but this also says it on the back dummy versions. You can see hot and then you can see white. Um, so it, it's pretty simple. I keep these as far as away from each other as possible. So this one goes at the top. This one goes on the bottom. You can, it, it's preference. I just, you try to, you know, you can never be too safe. And then obviously ground, uh, when you're going around a screw, you go around as you're screwing it in. So if it's going around clockwise, you, you go around clockwise. So you're tightening it and it's pulling it in at the same time. That just, that's just another safety precaution. So now I'm just gonna push this back, tighten it up, and then we'll turn the breaker on. We reinstall with the two screws in the back and then these two screws right here with the new uh, wall plate. Just go right into the outlet at the designated spot. Now let's go turn the breaker on. All right, find your breaker right there, flip it on. Now if you flip it on and it automatically pops, then obviously turn it off and go find out what, what you messed up. We're gonna take our little electrical outlet tester, plug it in, boom, it passes. You can see by this, those mean it's good, it's grounded, it's uh, hot's hot, neutral's neutral, we're good to go. We can test out a USB, just like that. Plug it into, oh, I don't know here, let's, let's find something here. My little, it's kinda hard doing this one-handed. Okay, come on, Kevin. All right, and it's working. Now, I will say, this is not a fast charger. So I believe it's only like 2.1 amps. So this is not going to, you know, fast charge any of your devices, but uh, it will obviously alleviate from you having to have, you know, multiple of these little buggers plugged in. So technically you, you get you get a couple of extra little functions. It just, it's convenient, it's, it really is. All right guys, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't burn down your house.